The Sindusha Land Degradation Neutrality Target Setting Program seeks to combat the pressing issues of soil erosion, deforestation, and unsustainable land practices that have been threatening the island's ecosystems and the livelihoods of its communities. The LDN program, first initiated in 2018, laid down a foundation of targets and measures aimed at promoting resilient agricultural systems and ensuring food security, focusing on three key indicators, land cover, land productivity, and carbon stocks, which are crucial for monitoring progress and ensuring that efforts to restore ecosystem health are on track. Coordinator of the Partnership Initiative of Sustainable Land Management, Calvin James, says the second phase of the program is set to reinforce these efforts through more defined and robust actions, including reforestation projects, the promotion of sustainable farming techniques, and the restoration of degraded lands. Our gap was we had no soil data. Our soil data went back to the 50s and 60s and 70s, very old. And furthermore, if countries had that data, it did not have soil carbon as one of the indicators. And so the ministers responsible for UNCCD met in Guyana in 2018, it was. Crick was in 2018 or 2017, thereabouts, in Guyana. And they said to us, please ensure that we can fully participate in LDN and use resources from the Jeff to deal with whatever mischief that may have presented itself to prevent us from uh, telling the world in 2030 that we have fulfilled our LDN obligations. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, says that addressing land degradation is essential for St. Lucia as it not only impacts food security but also biodiversity and climate resilience. By improving land management, the island can better withstand and adapt to the impacts of climate change, which pose a significant threat to its environment and economy. Today marks an essentially important occasion for us in St. Lucia, as we continue to address a critical issue that affects not only our beautiful island, but the entire world. Land degradation Land, land degradation, sorry. Land degradation is a serious issue and it is posing a significant threat to our environment, our biodiversity, food security, the econ economy, and overall well being. As we witness the adverse effects of climate change and on sustainable land practices, it is imperative that we take wise and bold actions to reverse those negative impacts and to achieve a land degradation neutral world. As St. Lucia advances its sustainability goals, the successful implementation of the LDN program could set a precedent for global land conservation efforts, potentially inspiring similar models in other small island developing states facing similar environmental challenges. From the communications unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.